This is the Letten footbridge. It used to be very crowded. Hundreds of people would flock here every day. On this side, too. When it was cold and the weather was bad, we were forced to do our business under there. Reito Burr is 45 years old and lives on welfare. He's been a heroin addict for almost 30 years. He used to come to this area to get his daily dose. He doesn't have any good memories of the place. It used to stink so much, it was nauseating. You'd be happy to get away as soon as you could. Felix Kutzwiler was also involved. He led the Commission on Illicit Drugs, which was established at the time to combat drug dealing and addiction. He also advocated for the state distribution of heroin to hardcore addicts, a program that's been in place since the beginning of the 90s. The number of deaths has clearly decreased, as has the infection rate from diseases such as HIV, hepatitis and jaundice. Among other things, it also led to a decrease in crime, prostitution and theft. Reto Burer has been taking part in the heroin distribution program for the past 14 years. In the Arud Clinic for Addiction, he receives a dose twice a day under strict medical supervision. One key to the program's success has been its accessibility. It's important to have as little bureaucracy as possible, because patients that want to enter a methadone or heroin program could be put off by long waiting times. In Switzerland, heroin addiction has been decreasing, and the demeaning images linked to the open drug scene are a thing of the past. This has also been thanks to the fact that since the beginning of the 1990s, addiction to such drugs as heroin has been treated as a disease, improving the lives of people like Reto Burer.